The human brain's attention system is actually the success story of what makes us unique as human beings. Because attention fuels our ability to think, to feel, and connect, what we pay attention to is our life. For a long time through our evolutionary history, the brain started to suffer from a very big problem, which is that there's far more information out in the environment than could be fully processed. Attention ended up becoming a very useful solution because it allows us to prioritize information. But there are qualities of the human experience that disable attention. Given how powerful attention is, we need to really respect where we place this precious brain resource. The brain's attention system is incredibly powerful. There's three big ways we use attention as a fuel for having success in our daily activities. We use our attention to actually think. During thinking, there's an idea that comes to mind, and then we hyperlink it to other ideas. That's what thought actually is. And the glue between those hyperlinks is attention. We also use our attention to feel. Think about the last time you actually had a joyful moment in your lives. If you weren't paying attention to it, chances are you missed it. You didn't get the benefit of the positive emotional response. Finally, the third area is connecting our social interactions with other people. Without devoting attention, we don't experience care and we can't extend care. In fact, you might say that paying attention to another person is our highest form of love. But while attention is so incredibly powerful, it's fragile and vulnerable. But there's another challenge that our attention faces and why many of us feel like we're in an attentional crisis. I'm talking about the attention economy. Everything is being done by teams of engineers to actually capture your attention and keep it there. Your attention is the product. Finally, the mind can be hijacked away by something called mental time travel. That means that our attention is not in the present moment. So when we're thinking about the past, our attention is fully in the past. Same thing with the future. About 50% of our waking moments, we aren't in the present moment. Now that may seem very disempowering, like how are we ever gonna fight that fight? But the good news is that decades of research in my own lab and many others has now given us a solution. Mindfulness training, something that's been around for millennia. We can train our brain so that we do not need to fight. What we know is that when people practice mindfulness meditation, which is attending to the present moment, their attention is stronger. 12 minutes or more a day can cultivate something called meta-awareness. What is meta-awareness? It's the ability to be aware of the contents and processes of what's going on in our mind moment by moment. We're paying attention to our attention. Now, why would that awareness be beneficial? Because every time we are aware, we have more control. We can own our attention and we have it available to us to not only enjoy the moments of our lives and feel fulfillment, but to meet the challenges and demands that we certainly will all face. Minds wander. It's a natural thing that the brain does. The mind is no different than the body. The mind needs to be exercised daily 